Hello, Bobby. What you doing? Hey, do you want to go Blu-ray hunting? Hey, you want to go Blu-ray hunting? Come on then, let's get going. Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for another video. Uh, it's time to go and do a little bit of Blu-ray hunting in a minute. Now, there's a couple of good titles out today. Um, we've got uh, Ghost in the Shell uh, and also the um, Smurfs, what was it, Lost Village or I think it was called Lost Village. I went to see it at the cinema so I should bloody know. <laughs> uh, I think they're the only two main titles out so um, we're going to go and have a look in Tesco's. I probably won't do Sainsbury's today uh, because we're a little bit thingy on time but uh, certainly do Tesco's and uh, hope that they've got them in, in my local so let's scoot off and go and have a look see what else they got on the shelves eh okay so here we are at the uh, the blu-ray section let's have a look see what we got so yeah uh, we got the ghost in the shell yep so that's the standard blu-ray Another nice shiny cover. They do love these shiny covers. So do I. But um, yeah, that looks really good. Didn't see this at the cinema. I wasn't too sure whether or not um, I actually want to see it just yet. So I didn't go ahead and buy the still book as it was out. Uh, and also Free Fire as well. Which actually did look pretty good in uh, kind of a shootout type thing. But uh, comedy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this. This is another one I missed in the cinema. Oh, don't you ever go to the cinema. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, would you? <clears throat> also, uh, Ghost in the Shell 3D. Also with a shiny slip. So that looks pretty good. £18, so it's not too bad. And uh, Viceroy's House. Don't know too much about this, but uh, it's got a, it looks like it's got a, quite an impressive cast. I'm not sure it's exactly my sort of thing, but uh, <coughs> I might try it, I don't know. And also the uh, the Ghost in the Shell 4K as well. So that's pretty nice. So I don't think they've got any price against that one. Probably £25. And now we're over at the, uh, the DVD section, so there's the Ghost in the Shell. <clears throat> it's got a nice reflection on that. Look at that, nice and silvery and reflective. And Free Fire there as well on DVD, plus the Voice Royce House. All still to £10, so it's a set price now. Uh, and this is a, one of, a new one of the budget ones, President Under Siege. Uh, can't they all look, all these covers all look the same, they all look like fucking London's Fallen or something, or Die Hard on a bum hole or something, <laughs> what are you talking about? Strange man. Uh, and also uh, the Ottoman Lieutenant, or Lieutenant. <clears throat> I'm English and I prefer Lieutenant to Lieutenant, so <laughs> figure that. Uh, and Kung Fu, I was going to say Kung Fu Panda. Jackie Chan isn't in Kung Fu Panda, it looks like Kung Fu Lion, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. I've never heard of this one before. I don't know if this is a, a new budget one as well. <clears throat> uh, they were the, the main titles, so I don't really think there's much else. And uh, Q for Wellness is pretty much the same as uh, what's been there for the last couple of weeks. We're over here at the, uh, the TV chart section. So they've got the, um, the new season of uh, Vikings in. Uh, although this is... Oh, look at that nice reflection on that red. That's pretty good. This is only the second half of the series. So what do they want? They want 18 quid for like the last half of the series. And 25 quid for the whole of the fourth series. <clears throat> That's why I hate these split up. I don't know why they do it. It's ridiculous. Just put it all into one box. It looks much nicer all in one box. They're doing that with the Doctor Who's at the moment as well, splitting them up. But uh, I think that was only the main one uh, this week, Vikings. 
Um, we've got um, two Blu-ray for £12. And got a lot of those titles. No, none of them come with with slips either, it doesn't look like. <clears throat> Still got some Beauty and the Beasts left. The old big sleeves. What else we got here? Let's see. These are all DVDs, all this, this whole section here. So, yeah, um, this, this was actually quite a good film. I was quite surprised by this. And it's Nicolas Cage film. Uh, and it's down to five pounds on DVD. Um, I've got it on Blu-ray, so it was it was really good. You know, it's quite a good film for a budget film, I suppose. I think it had a budget of about forty million. Hey everyone! So yeah, back from Tesco's. Wasn't a huge amount out today, so just those two titles. Only a short Blu-ray trip today. One thing I did want to say. Um, about the upcoming HMV exclusive still books. Now this is only going to start with um, Wonder Woman, The Spider-Man and War for the Planet of the Apes. Um, I'm trying on my website uh, cudsanddrips.com plug to set up buying on the store so rather than me email everybody an invoice with all their guff and all that kind of stuff in it I'm trying to set that up so that you can just go to the website go to the store click whichever one you want and then you can go through the store process all the fees will be included in that one price so they won't be added later on you know like it won't say shipping and then the price handling and all that kind of shit it will all be contained in one little all be contained in one price but as I say, um, I'll give it a go. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I mean, you can go over there. You might see one or two pop up, but I'm still trying to like, sort of like in the testing phase. So I don't know if it's actually going to work because I think it might calculate the shipping on top as it does with the lenticulars. So we'll have a go. We'll see what we can work out. It might be an easier way to do it rather than me keep emailing everybody um, or me messaging everybody on, on blu-ray.com because not everybody goes on to blu-ray.com every single day although there are some of us that go on there every single fucking hour <laughs> especially when there's a blue fans group by going crap did anybody go in for this Doctor Strange I know a few did but my god, there were so few titles. It was like between 30 to, what, 50 or 60 titles. My finger was going like that on the F5 button. My button popped out. <laughs> I had to quickly jam it back in before the bloody group I started. Oh, calm yourself, Paul. You give yourself a heart attack. Or a laughing fit. But uh, yeah, um, I was lucky enough to get in. Now, there was three available, so there was a one-click there was a single lenty and a double lenty. The double lenty, I, I think, was at the end or in the middle after the one click. What I didn't want to do, I didn't want to bypass the one click knowing that I wanted the double lenty, going for the double lenty and miss it. So I got the, I got the one click first of all and then because I really wanted the double click what the fuck? I really wanted the double lenty. <laughs> oh, this is a real good conversation, isn't it? I wanted the double lenty, so I went in for that one as well. So I managed to get in on that one. Um, I emailed, or I keep saying emailed, I messaged Kevin um, because I only want one and I'm willing to give up the other one to go back into the reserves. So I think that's something that he's actually going to do now. He's going to go through all the lists and everybody that's doubled up on everything. He's going to either cancel them and put them, put them in the reserve list so that everybody else could get one, which is how it should be because we don't want people flogging them on eBay for fucking three, four hundred pounds, do we? So I'm keeping the double lenty, and um, I think Kevin is actually going to free up the one click for the reserve list. So whew, at least I've got the double lenty, which is the one I really wanted. I can calm down now. <laughs> that is until the next Blue Fans group buy goes live. 
holy crap what's that gonna be probably rogue one shit bloody computer will go into meltdown yeah so anyway all this waffling is not good for us so yeah head over to cudsanddrips.com um, if you want to just have a look over there at the lenticulars and have a look at the uh, the shop because I might have already set it up although I doubt it because I'm not that good on desktop computers especially when it comes to setting shit up but having said that anyway I'm having a new piece of equipment delivered as well on the 1st of September um, for anybody in the UK um, I'm currently on Sky HD and I've got a two terabyte I've got two two terabyte two 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 terabyte boxes filled up with all sorts of shit um, but I'm going over to the Sky Q system which is going to be good um, and basically how it turned out Sky Q if anybody doesn't know especially anybody outside of the UK Sky HD is just our basic like TiVo box you know, we use a Sky platform to record programs, the plan of all that kind of thing, TV guide, box sets, on demand, and on and on and on. Um, we've only ever been able to record, I think it's two programs at the same time. Um, and I don't think you can watch another one. So you have to either watch one of those, but you can't record more than two programs. Also, Sky have only ever, as far as I'm aware, transmitted in 1080i or 720p. But this new Sky Q system, which is, uh, I think it's been out about a year, um, it's a UHD box. So um, although you get 4K, my computer's doing something funny here. See, I told you I'm not very good with computers. Although it's at 4K, you can stream 4K material from Sky now. Uh, but also it's 1080p as well. So that's really good. So we can see proper programs in as much detail as possible also um because i'm going for the sky q silver two terabyte box i can record six programs and watch a seventh i know i ain't gonna know where the fucking start <laughs> but i also get a, a mini box as well which goes in one of the other rooms because the way that that's worked in the past is that if you have two sky boxes in the same house they both are plugged in with a satellite cable so they both go up to the dish and they work individually so you record on one box you record on another box you can't watch from one box onto another box lots of boxes uh, but this one uh, it's all wi-fi so uh, the mini box does away with the satellite feed doesn't need to connect to a dish it connects wi-fi to the main box the main silver box and uh, and you can watch in any other room these mini boxes so it all records on one main box downstairs but all the other boxes around the, ho around the home you can actually stream the material from that box onto any other box and it doesn't interfere with anything downstairs <laughs> oh dear me that sounds painful but <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that and also the UHD content as well it's all going to be new to me even the remote's going to be new it's got one of these fancy touch sensitive rollable type shit things which is very, going to be very different um previously i looked into upgrading to sky sky q uh, and it was going to cost me about 299 pounds and that was for the main box and two mini boxes but i got um there's a new uh, sky vip service that's been set up in the last week or two uh, where they reward people that have been with Sky for a long time. So it's all based on like, um, you get silver, gold, I think it's platinum and black. And depends how long you've been with Sky. So I fall into the black category because uh, Sky Black will be if you've been with them for more than 15 years, which I worked out I've been with them for 22 years. So yeah, I deserve a little bit more than that. And do you know how much it's going to cost? If I bought it, couple of months ago 299 pounds how much is it going to cost me nothing i know i'm so glad i didn't buy it back then so i've got a sky two terabyte box uhd and a mini box on demand multi-room this all sounds very boring doesn't it for some people it might even sound a bit chinese 
<laughs> Especially big balls. But yeah, um, I can't, I'm not going to waffle on any more about it. So I'll, I'll, when I do get it set up at the beginning of September, I'll do a quick run through and I'll show you around the house, what's connected to what, um, and the Wi-Fi and, and what the menus and everything look like. So that'd be a bit interesting, but probably be boring to some other people. But I'll try not to leave, you know, to do it for too long. So anyway, that's enough of that waffling. So it's about time we have some more waffling now. Alexa's waffling what she got to say this week ask alexa shit alexa what is ghost in the shell ghost in the shell the 2017 american crime drama film directed by rupert sanders alexa what films has scarlett johansson been in the films that scarlett johansson is a star in include avengers infinity war rock the body captain america Civil War, Sing and Avengers, Age of Ultron. I think in the future, whenever I ask Alexa about anything like Scarlett Johansson, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, anybody like that, Mark Ruffalo, and I ask them what films they've been in, every sodding answer is going to be Avengers, isn't it? <laughs> Alexa? How big is two terabytes? Two terabytes is two trillion bytes. That'd be enough to record some programmes, wouldn't it? Ask Alexa shit. Well, that was a bit of a useless waffle this week. So, um, thanks for clicking on the video. I hope I didn't waffle on for too long about all this sky shit, but um, I'm looking forward to it. So, um, so hopefully we'll have some more titles out next week and a bit more of a longer Blu-ray hunt. Uh, maybe we'll pop into some other some other shops as well. We're hoping to pop in some more like charity shops as well to see what Blu-ray or DVDs that they've got in there. So anyway, thanks for clicking on the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I wasn't waffling on for too long. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.